All right, let's finish up um, three, four with one more, finding all the real solutions. So real, we've been talking about real and rational. Real and rational are different. Real is any real number. Just to make sure we're understanding the difference. Um, this would include one, two, but this also includes square root five, right? Cube root five, all those crazy numbers. Whereas those rational numbers, the ones we've been using with this new theorem, is also one and two and like one half and three halves. Um, but square root five is not rational. So make sure you're understanding the difference between real and rational. So the previous examples, right, uh, this one, it had no, example three had no rational zeros, but it could have, it may have real zeros, which could be like cube root of five, right? This theorem is only telling me the ones in this form. So we're going to start with the rational theorem to find those, and then hopefully we can find the real ones at the end. So... The rational theorem is going to help me maybe get it down from an x cubed function to an x squared function, and then I can start using um, other methods. Um, so if I want to solve this, I think I'm going to find zeros, so I'm going to move the 2 to the other side. And so we're going to, we're going to start with the rational theorem to find the first one or the second one, and then maybe um, we can use a quadratic formula to then find the real zeros. So the rational theorem is only telling me the ones in rational form. But this can at least help me narrow it down so it can get easier to solve. So what are my possible zeros? So it'll be factors of 2. So on top we'll have 2 or 1 divided by factors of also 2 from the 2, the leading coefficient. So this brings me to plus or minus 2 over 2, plus or minus 1 over 2, plus or minus 2 over 1, and plus or minus 1 over 1. So what do we have? 2 over 2 and 1 over 1 are the same thing, so plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and then plus or minus 1 half. So we can plug in to check zeros, or we can just start um, doing synthetic to check. It's up to you. So you can plug in one, or you can do one with synthetic, either or. I'm going to do synthetic just to get some practice with it. Two, three, five, and two. Make sure all the terms are there, x cubed, x squared, x. Otherwise, you add zeros. So let's just go through the zeros. Um, so if you feel good about synthetic division, why don't you do a couple and we'll catch up. Um, 2, we get 2, we get 5, 5, 10, 10, 12. So f of 1 equals 12. I actually find this faster than plugging in often when we're doing high powers. Um, negative 1 or plug in if you prefer. So I'll cross out the ones that don't work just to get them out of the way. Um, we get 2, we get negative 2. 1, negative 1, 4, negative 4, and we get negative 2, which is not 0, so negative 1 also doesn't work. This is going to feel tedious. All right, let's try 2, negative 2. Hopefully one of those works. I'm just going to erase to make space and clear the video out. So 2, remember the coefficients, 3, 5, 2. We get 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 7, this isn't looking good, these numbers are getting big. 2 times 7 is 14, this is looking even worse. 19, and then, this is clearly not a 0 at this point, because the numbers are getting way too big, and won't cancel out. But you get 38 and 40, so f of 2 is 40, which is not 0. Let's try negative 2. 2, negative 4, negative 1, positive 2, 7. I think I... Yeah, we're good. Um, I'm doing this fast, right? If you need more practice, um, go back to last week and check out those videos. Um, negative 14, negative 12, not 0. So eliminate both of those. So it has to be 1 half or 1 if we have a rational... So let's try one half and 
one half or negative one half, sorry. So we just got unlucky. We clearly chose the wrong order. I guess we'll do a positive one half. One half. So um, two, three, five, two. Right, sometimes you get lucky and you get that zero right away. Other times you don't. That's okay. We get two. One half times two is one. Four. One half times four is two. Seven. Okay, seven halves. I don't know what this is. It's not zero. All right. Hopefully this one works. Otherwise, we are out of options. All right, negative one half. We get two. We get negative one. We get two. We get negative one. Two times negative one half. We get four. And then we get negative two finally, and we get zero. So f of negative one half is zero finally. Sometimes we get unlucky and it's the last one we pick. So that means we have one half, negative one half as a solution. Um, it, it looks like that's maybe my only rational solution because we already tried all the other rational options. Right, if we had a rational, it would have been one of those other numbers. Um, but since none of those worked, it just means we might have some real solutions that are not rational. So we can bring this down. It'll be x minus negative 1 half. And then we started with x cubed, so now we're at x squared. 2x squared plus 2x plus 4 equals 0. And now that we're at a quadratic, we can go ahead and solve the quadratic. Um, so I don't think this one factors. Maybe it does. We'll find out in a second. It probably doesn't because we probably have some rational solutions. So we'll just do x equals negative b, negative 2, plus or minus um, b squared, minus 4ac, all over 2a. So what do we get? We get 4 minus, what's that, 4 times 2, 8, 6, no. 32 all over 4. 4 minus 32 is negative 28. So this is not a real solution. So we're done. Why is it not real? Because of the negative inside the square root. So the only real solution is x equal to negative 1 half. Um, if we had a positive square root, it would just be an irrational solution, but it would be real. So this section's tedious. Sometimes you get lucky with your guesses, other times you don't. Um, but I'll see you for the next section.